here to have some uh, ongoing discussions uh, regarding LATCF funding requests. Um, okay, so is this what you guys are here for? Or is this something yes. new? Yes. So let's start with, with some. Same in if you want okay. or whatever. So, uh, Dan Martinson for the record emergency manager. Uh, about a week ago, uh, Casey got together with me and said we have a pretty dire need of a, of a uh, or dire. Failure, uh, which is, of course, one of our uh, key components of our interoperable communications. So we have. The, the the funding that I manage uh, for that kind of stuff uh, in in the process of trying to take care of capital expenses like this. Well, in this case, we had some plans for utilizing next year's SHSP money along with some uh, money out of the following year uh, because these are large expenses. Uh, there's not enough money in the SHSP to just do it at any one year. So so here we are uh, with uh, opportunity to utilize this uh, LATCF funding. In the emergency status of getting this done and sooner rather than later so we can get it ordered and get it installed prior to winter uh, coming up on us um so that's why we're here and that's why we, we threw this together pretty fast this application we uh, had some discussions with colleen over in the need and that's what we put together as part of the application. So basically the justification is we need it and it's a large expense that isn't in their capital expenditure budget. SHSP funding is required to be spent on numerous uh, different types of funding and I list that out in there, but it's uh, um, for <clears throat> not only interoperable communications and other emergency response <laughs> um, but also for um, prevention of to critical facilities, water and sewer type facilities, operations and response plan update. Grant is already committed to those expenditures, so we can't just pull all that money to spend on gas. Um, nor can we pull all the money from the next year's grant and spend on this. So, um, yeah. again, it's and for the for, for the, the public introductory for the public's sake. This this op, this is a, a repeater that is used for the Coeur d'Alene River District, right? Primarily, but it also hits all of the East End. Okay, because uh, we have the repeater site in Silverton. So all of our main transmissions that come from the sheriff's office hit Silverton, bounce off a goose, and then okay, it goes. So currently, so, with the way that the repeater, the how it's malfunctioning, when dispatch puts a call out, it's very scratchy. And like yesterday, a call came out for a woman in labor in in Silverton, and all I heard on the radio was Western labor. All of it was scratched out, and so you can't understand what transmission is being sent from dispatch to the deputy. Okay, and sometimes back. If we did this, it just be funding. Uh, uh, yeah, state homeland security program. Um, so that money, there's a certain amount of that. We get about thirty thousand a year uh, allocated based on population, and so out of that thirty thousand, twenty five percent is required to be spent. I mean, actually, that's been up this year to thirty five percent. Um, has to be spent on law enforcement for law enforcement. The remainder is to be spent on other EMS requirements in these other categories that I listed, cybersecurity, uh, training and plan updates and those kinds of things. So there's some allotments for those expenditures. 
Um, so between the EMS and the sheriff's option, it's usually about 20 grand of that uh, can be spent on, on these types of things. And typically we spend it on interoperable type communications, uh, radios and base radios and mobile, mobile handhelds and stuff like that. Um, and so if we, if we didn't have this funding, we would be obligated to try to spend a portion of our money from this year. We could reallocate some of the projects that have already been committed to this because of its emergency management, and then we could pull some money out of the following year, which is in the process of being applied for and would be applicable uh, after October 1. This is when the new, new SHSP funding comes out and is available. Uh, so we could pull a portion of it, but we'd still be a third short of the total funding. So it's per so we could use SHSP and we could pay some of this. Right. <clears throat> and can it happen fast enough? Is there none left for this year's? Uh, there potentially could, but due to the expedited nature of this, I normally have a, a, a committee that helps me make those decisions on where that money gets allocated and spent. So it's not just me making that decision. And that, that committee is one of our, our prior chiefs. been able to have that meeting on do we want to reallocate some of those SHSP funds that have already been committed to be committed to this and then what are we doing for next year so they're they're already committed to other projects right now correct so you'd have you wouldn't be able to finish the other projects that you have that you already committed to if you're going to do this that's correct okay. well my concern isn't this my concern is all of the needs coming up for the lettuce money that's that's my concern so i'm i'm looking is there any way we could <clears throat> be doing part of this and and using some of your shsp money uh to match just to cut down on the expense to the the letcf money so i did you know after dan got a hold of me and we started talking about this i reached out to iom just to see because they there's money that comes through all these different places there's usda there's forest service there's there's all these pockets that you wouldn't think. I mean, the farm bill, why would you think that would be applicable here? So I reached out. Um, there, I, starting, I have 21 pages of opportunities, but none of these will be in in the right kind of timing. So we'll keep working on this because there'll be other, other opportunities to help fund those later. But I did start looking at where the potential. So we've received that second tranche in the LATCF, and then I pulled this, and this was just a quick, so sorry, I don't have it for everybody, but I just pulled what the county through the Slurpee, the SLFRF money. So that was set aside to do all of the um, HVAC work that needed to be done for the two facilities. Um, that was set aside for 800000 and there is currently 370 specific to the county use, um, there's $475,000 left in there. So I don't know the status of where it is with that. I just thought I would bring that as an alternative that there's another way, you know, if we can't pull this from all the other sources, there's potentially money in that. The so, one that has to be spent by 24. Okay, so, so we we have the funds. You know, one of the, one of the things is, is we don't, we want to make sure it gets done before winter. This is and there's a yeah, problem right now, responders. so Thank we you. really need to probably just yeah. go ahead and just a side note on that. Um, the original um, conversation that I had with uh, Adam Cripp and the, uh, the sales rep from Raycom, they have a repeater in sight, and so that's in Spokane Valley. So okay. it's just scheduling it to get here. So we don't have to wait. When we had some other issues. We had to wait so long to get those components in yeah. COVID and, and uh, shipping and back orders. But, as of a month ago, they have one in their warehouse. So is it possible that we could allocate some of the money that was not used for the for the cooling heating system instead of using lettuce? Mm -hmm. I'd feel more comfortable with that. I guess my question is, where where is the progress on that? Is it completed? And I know there's another three or four thousand for the fencing and some tie up things where where is that on now? Will it leave enough for 
to complete that system. The fencing is the only thing I know that we okay. still had outstanding. It was the last that Randy had ordered, but I will double check on that. I will call CSN myself and find out. But that should still leave us a couple all, hundred thousand dollars of I want to get you guys flex. ordered. Right. So I think we, I would say we we go ahead and go forward with it, and they can, you know, figure she can figure it out in the interim of what funds. Slurpee okay. instead of a lettuce. Okay. Pull it out of the you see how it's simplified this? <laughs> I like it. I, I taught, understand it. I taught sixth grade. So, <laughs> would that work for you? Yep. Does that work for you? Yep. Yeah, as long as it gets done. Yeah, as long as it gets done. I would motion we um, make, uh, make the funds immediately available using uh, the, some of this unused money from the Slurpee. The SLR, you fill in the correct thing. Now I can't even say it correctly. I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, you can move forward. Thank you, Thank you so I'll much. Make a phone so call. That yeah. Is, yeah. Clarification question for me. Are we funding the full 37 out of the slurry? Okay. I think we better. Okay. So that they can move on. Okay. I don't think we can afford to lose emergency no. communications. Is that, all, that fair with you guys? Right. Yes. We just voted to give the whole amount. Well, we're protecting that. our lenders. I really appreciate that. And then, but I mean, yeah. Side note, that'll help because we have other repeaters that are probably near or not far from that that are in that cycle of, of processing. So that'll kind of speed up the process for them. Okay. We'll utilize these SHSB funds from this year and next year and potentially bond start those projects earlier. So. Okay. All right. And other business on the LETCF and Slurpees and all of that, um, <clears throat> we have the opportunity to purchase two police cars that would be in lieu of getting police cars in next year's budget. We've discussed that. I've discussed it with the sheriff. I I would like to recommend to the board that we, and, and I guess I need Colleen's input on, on this, Of the budget and to get the purchase done. Yep. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? That that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in addition to the four um, the four patrol vehicles from we'd the last be buying month, these so six total. these yep. two that okay. and and then the sheriff won't be requesting any in the budget this year and there won't be a payment for them. We're just going to pay for them outright. Yep. So you won't have a you can remove the lease. No, or I will. So move. So move to to purchase those two police cars outright using LETCF. I'll second. Seconded. Any discussion? No. All in favor. Um, the information, or is this that the lease information that I was sent? Your uh, contact on that hits <laughs> his little project. Got it. It's 105, 334 and 68 cents. <clears throat> and they better not look like Andy Griffith cars. No, they look pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I've heard we could save money if we bought the old cherry sirens. <laughs> so, all right. Other items that we have discussed, um, copiers, do you want to bring that up? Yes. That would be another way of helping the budget. Rather than taking them out of our capital expenses, this was my goal last year when to get rid of these leases is to outright purchase the copiers. And we'd like to use the LATCF to do that instead of taking them out of everyone's budget. And how much would we need to set aside? 40500 And then uh, and that, that we were... Those capital expense yeah. from the budget. Does that make sense, Tammy? What we're doing? Just for the copiers. For the copiers at this point. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, are, did you make a motion? 
No, I did not. Would I you will, um, move to um, approve forty thousand five hundred for copier purchases from LATCF? From LATCF. Plus. I'll second it. And that's to <clears throat> remove them from the budget. <clears throat> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So we're spinning lettuce, but hopefully we're helping budget at the same time. So the copiers are, are done. Um, we've had some emergency repairs necessary at the airport. Now that it's under new management, we're finding things like gas leaks. Jeff, do you want to address some of that? Yeah, we, we have uh, we have a uh, natural gas that's ready to be hooked up there, and we're using propane. The propane tanks are leaking. So we want to go ahead and hook up the natural gas and change out the the range, and that's about eighteen hundred bucks. And then plumbing, plumbing. I don't have a hard figure yet. I've got a call into um, the router guys. They gave me a, a bid for fifteen thousand to do all the plumbing, but they want to replace the toilets and the um, and the water heater. And I want to. I want to make sure that they're. So do you want to hold on that? We'll hold on. Okay. I want to make sure that they're, you know. So 1800 to, to uh, convert to gas and get yep. rid of the leaking tank. Yep. And um, and I we need 8000 to cover the pavement that had to be completed that was promised with the leases last year. <clears throat> so that would be $9,800 for airport funding. And we're not dealing with the plumbing until no, you yeah. get a final yep. bid on that. So with the airport and this, you know, I'm not completely sure, but there is FAA money and especially for runway things. Um, and also a concern of, you know, the, that crossover with, between the two. This is not exactly, you know, I don't have a whole lot of information, but just asking the question. Have have you talked with Trey and yes. the FAA and and you know where where those lines are and what works and what could be applied for? FAA the will not cover um, um, the within so many feet of the hangars, the aprons, okay. just the active runways and taxiways. Is what was my understanding? Yeah, so I think that's what they had promised. So the other commissioners that. had promised to do that when they leased the properties, but they didn't budget for that. So we've finished the work to honor the leases, but but the FAA will not pay for the for the. Pay. And we weren't able to get a grant last year because we didn't have the match. Okay. So um, this year we're looking at hopefully getting the match. It just depends on how the budget works, but we may not even be able to get one this year. Okay. And then just a, I guess a curiosity question with the leases on those, who's responsible for the maintenance for? That pavement that goes in is that Ooh. county or the hangar? It's or ours, yeah. For the, <laughs> yeah, I didn't write those leases, so, um, yeah, we we inherited responsibility for that. <clears throat> they should last. There should there's not a lot of wear and tear in front of a hangar. But I think it's something we need to consider if we allow new hangers yep. is that people pay for their own. Aprons, aprons yeah. uh, which is was not done in the past. So I guess that's a part of the the concern I have with that and with ongoing maintenance now being a fiscal responsibility for the county. While it is not prohibited in the guidance from Treasury, it is strongly suggested that you do not use these one-time funds to create fiscal burdens down the road. So having an ongoing maintenance concern is a concern that they can come back and say, "Did you really use that the best way you could have?" It's used. I think the ongoing maintenance for what probably amounts to a few hundred square yards, unfortunately, is only a few hundred square yards of pavement. Um, I doubt if the ongoing maintenance burden <coughs> is more than a few hundred dollars, but <coughs> I'd be able to maintain that within our budget. Okay. I think now that we've put a maintenance budget in the airport that we mm -hmm. that that should be well within our grasp. Yes. Okay. Um, that that was just uh, that maintenance budget was a dissolved sometime in the past. So a good point. Just asking the question so that I can answer the question. Good point. 
So at this point, I'd entertain a motion to set aside $9,800 for the pavement uh, in the uh, gas line replacement and, and converting uh, and the stove to convert the building to natural gas. Yep. I'll second. Even the gas line hookup was 18. Okay. Total of 98. No, I'm talking. Okay. Thank you. I have a motion. He seconded it. So, so, I thought you so moved. I thought you made the motion. Oh. Okay, I'll second it. Second it. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next item that we have is the discussion of setting aside um, some LATCF money for to pay for an outside audit support if we need that during our budget cycle this year. <clears throat> we don't have a bid. We are currently looking with IEC's help uh, on what we want to do there to help the commission and better understand and get their arms around this budget process. But I would re suggest maybe we set aside $5,000 to just to set aside, just to knowing that we okay. may have a one-time need to to do something okay. i'm picking five thousand out of the air i've never hired an auditor i live with one so I, i've never had to pay for one so well, we pay for tony Madsen and bailey already they do provide that education okay so this could pay them to do that they already do pay that. <clears throat> i thought you had already approached them though with the the questions when we talked yesterday i thought you suggest, said you'd already approached the current talk to them about look where we might have shortfalls in line yeah. okay so i think well what we're and fix it whether that could be them or whoever but um, I just want to set aside some money because I think we're going to have to get that done in the next two weeks. Where we have what, what's the date we have to have that? Our budget hearing is set that I need all the changes more than the 29th. So I would motion that we set aside 5,000 right now to uh, to address this need if if we have to, uh, just because that. of the emergency nature. Okay. I'll second it. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So not necessarily spending it yet, but you're marking it. Do we have, have I missed anything? Is there anything else on the agenda for? No. no the payment, the, the uh, wage study, we'll, we'll get what they idea. Um, they're they're going to go ahead and get it. They, uh, um, Somebody to do that. In the budget meetings, we talked about that all three of us were in favor of a formal wage study. You've had okay. further conversation, and IAC is recommending a name or names for that. And I think it would be our thought to do a one time wage study using LETCF money. Would that be an appropriate expenditure for lettuce? We talked about it last year, but I think so. Um, have they given you a number? No, no. We, so we don't even have a person yet. Yeah. We're just. Well, I've seen those. Those are tens of thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. and that would that really be advantageous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll talk to you offline yes. about what we've been yeah. told by IAC. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, get a number. I, I can't think of any reason. I couldn't that it think of. Be. Mm -hmm. But I didn't try really hard to think of a reason not to. So <laughs> I can imagine that. That's my job. That's you yeah, your job. <laughs> All right. Anything further from the commission? No. no. Any public comment? Anything from the elected? Amount of the two for the copiers and the vehicles. Have you gone through the channels and made sure that they were bid to do the procurement? Well, we haven't done the copiers yet, so I don't know how you came to those prices. Uh, 
I think we'll have to look at procurement. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're not, a lot not of them, really rather good. than leasing, we're outright buying, and they're like three thousand each, or depending yeah. on the type of copier okay. for each department. So they're there's like okay. eight. You're over the twenty five thousand. I have a list on my desk. Have you looked at how that's being done? And, you know, you put it out and ask for several quotes. You're under the amount. Police cars. Because that includes all of them. If you're purchasing them all from one place. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did you did you use source well on the police cars last year? We didn't order the police cars last year, so I'm not sure what the commissioners did. did. Yeah. <clears throat> the, so the reason with the four vehicles was that there was a package through Dave Smith that was going away. And so it was a specific one that was not going to be available and was the most appropriate for the sheriff's office at that time. So that's why there wasn't. But if if those if that is no longer on the table, then we definitely need to be looking at source well or because this this definitely goes into a whole different realm of, of yeah. procurement issues. Um, now, of course, you guys throw a, a, an interesting curve into it because you have some different procurement rules as well. So mm -hmm. we can work on those if they, if they weren't ordered from already Dave Smith with that specific package, specific rig, I think it was the Durango's with a, a particular one mm -hmm. that was going away and they couldn't be purchased anywhere else. So it was a one source thing. Right. right? So we can have those conversations. For okay. For these now. Okay. Yeah. So there's the problem is we didn't order these police cars, so we didn't do the procurement. The right. former board or a, or a member of the former board ordered them. So, but now it's your keisters in the ringer, so mm -hmm. you should do the diligence. Yep. So I agree. How do you do that when the cars are already ordered? Is my question. I think <laughs> they, they're already ordered in here. Ordered so. and outfitted. <clears throat> yeah. How do we do that backwards? Yeah. Might be a Ben question. Yeah. Okay. Well, we want to make sure we're legal, but yeah. we also want to get those cars out of the budget <coughs> if we can. Oh, all right. So they could come in in was it November or October or something? But I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't have that concrete. And, and after so it was anything, maybe I you and, I think yes. it was just by a maybe you and the sheriff and I can sit Sometimes down. We and need to sit down and work this out. Figure that out because that's a big dollar amount that yeah. comes into a whole different realm of yeah. procurement. Yeah. You're right. Thank you for bringing that. Yeah, up. and I didn't know the difference between the Slurpee rules and the lettuce rules. Regardless, it's yeah, still so government government purchasing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter where the money is. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Okay. Are we all done then? I At this so. point, yes. Okay, this meeting is adjourned, and we.